Hello guys and welcome to a profile tree Wix tutorial. Today we're going to be learning uh, how to create collapsible sections using multi-state boxes on Wix. Um, so yes, we'll go ahead and get started. So for this to actually work, we're actually going to have to turn our dev mode on. So just by flicking this little switch. We've now got dev mode on and if we look to the left side here we've got our new sort of layout as you can see so next uh, we want to go on to the add elements area and we're going to search up for Multi box. It should be if it you can't. It's not in the search bar. It should be somewhere in interactive. Oh, here we go. And there it is. Multi state boxes. So we'll go ahead and just click on a blank one, start from scratch. So these multi-state boxes would actually be pretty great for FAQs. So if you have any frequently asked questions, you can just create little sections on them. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. So we'll just go ahead and minimize this a little bit. And if we click on to manage states, it says here that the ID is state one. We're going to go ahead and edit that ID and just say collapse. There we go. So now we're going to have to add some text thing onto this area. So we'll go ahead and click X on that. Uh, go back onto the add elements add some text so we'll go ahead and choose our heading just go for the smallest one here which is heading six and we can just drag that into the state as you can see there attached to state and i've actually got some text ready to be put in so one moment we'll go ahead and place the text in A uh, good thing about this is you can also drag it to size. So what prices do you charge for a service? And maybe just to top it off, since it will be an FAQ, we want users to see that you can actually expand the box. We'll go ahead and add another element. So we'll just click on element and maybe go for something decorative. Just a little icon maybe something just along the lines it has to be one sorry folks i've just skipped ahead and looked for a vector art here and i'll go ahead and click on the down arrow one so we'll go ahead and add that to the page perfect so now we can just adjust it to size and we can also now attach that to our state just maybe drag it down a little bit more center it up so perfect now we've got our little uh, shape there so now that we have that all set up so since we've got the collapse box we're obviously going to need another box and we'll now name this one um expand so just to do that, just click on this, manage states, we'll actually go ahead and duplicate that state and instead of calling it collapse2, we'll go ahead and rename this ID and we will call it expand. So collapse and expand, go ahead and click X 
uh, whilst we're in this uh, box here, we can go ahead and extend that to our preferred size. Probably around there we'll do it. Now what's great about this is you can go ahead and design it however you prefer for your website. I'll just go ahead and add some text uh, um, pieces to it. So we'll go back to add elements. I'll go back to text here and I'll go ahead and just drag and drop a little paragraph. Perfect. I'll even go ahead and maybe drag an image. So I'll just click on the free illustrations from Wix. We'll name it um, something to do with a service. Yep, that should do it. Add that to the page. Just minimize that a little bit. Go ahead and drag it into that state. And as you can see, you can modify it to whatever size you'd like. Perfect. So now I've got my little layout on my multi-state box. Uh, since we've got the down arrow for the collapse box, we'll go ahead and change the vector art to another one. Uh, give me a second folks while I go ahead and look for one. Perfect, so I've got myself a little arrow in a circle. So we'll go ahead and add that to the page. And that'll be our new one. So now, once we've got that set up, we will go ahead and actually start coding. So just below your screen, you'll have this little pop-up section. And it'll also, uh, already give you like a, it's a JavaScript function. So this is where we're going to write our code just to make everything work. So we'll go ahead and do that. Right, so we'll go ahead and code something up. So if we go back to our collapse, we want this vector art to do something. So I think that says vector... Let me just move that a little bit. Vector image one. So we'll go ahead and code something for vector image one. So it's dollar sign W. And then it should have something. There you go. Vector image one. And then should be on click. Go ahead and click on that. And then we'll want this to do something. So have it like that and then we'll have our brackets down now we need to find out the name of the actual multi-state box and as you can see it is state box 8 so we'll go ahead and do the dollar sign w and should have one there. Yep, state box eight dot. And then we want to change that state and we want to call it expand. So expand. I think I had it with a capital. Expand. So we'll have that. So once that's all sorted, we should be able to preview that and that should be able to work. So there you go, we'll preview this, just uh, drag this out of the way. So if you click on that, there you go, got our little sort of expand. And now we need to just code for this one. So we'll go ahead and go back to editor. We're practically doing vice versa. So we'll go ahead and code up for the expand version. So using the same uh, box, it's easier to just 
copy and paste what we've coded in and uh, go ahead and paste that and if we click on this we'll go ahead and click on expand we'll see what is the name of that vector image 2 so instead of vector image 1 we'll change that to vector image 2 and state box 8 it should be yes and then instead of expand we're doing vice versa so we'll do collapse spelled that right yes that is it so once all that is done we should be able to preview that so yes click on the top right preview go ahead and click on that so now once we click this it should be a clickable button so there you go that's it working and good thing about that is you can compress your site more basically making it a lot more minimalistic you can have multiple boxes of the same one and yeah uh, we'll go back to editor just have a look at everything yeah so as i was saying earlier on um if you did want to have another box you could just go ahead and duplicate this box and then so we'll say for this one um let me think of it a little think a little little service here uh we could say hi double click on that long does service take and then since that is state box nine what we could do here is quite literally copy and paste this bring that down and instead of state box 8 we're going to be directing that to state box 9 and we'll go ahead and click preview just to double check this works so we've got that oh one second yep just made a tiny little error there since i have vector image 1 vector image 2 that should have been vector image 3 and this should be vector image 4 let me just double check that vector image 4 and then we'll go to we'll actually go ahead see this we'll change that to state 2 state 1 Go ahead and preview it. There you go. Now that's a working box. So just uh, double check your code there. Just make sure everything's functional. But yes, guys, that is about it. Um, that's pretty much how you add your little multi-box section area. Um, great for FAQs. Um, yeah, it's pretty much just a great way to minimize your website. Have these little collapsible boxes just to make it more of a cleaner look but yeah if you guys have any questions at all leave them down below and yeah i'll see you in the next video thank you very much guys